folks, this is Ken from Time Visions Watches. Here to do a quick overview for you of a exoskeleton intercontinental Voyager model. And uh, before we even get going, I wanted to just to announce that Time Visions has been uh, awarded the sole uh, authorized dealership for the online world for the exoskeleton brand. Um, as of immediately and moving forward. So we're excited, as I'm sure you could imagine, about that announcement. And you should be looking as we go into the future for, uh, for new designs and offerings coming from Exoskeleton. And we'll keep you in the, uh, the loop on those things as they come out. Now, this watch is, first of all, uh, not for everyone. This is not the type of watch that we would recommend for someone who's looking for an everyday wear piece. Um, sometimes you know you best define what a watch is by explaining what it's not and this is not the average everyday wear watch. It is not for someone who's looking to blend into a situation. Um, however, if you are looking to make an impression when you walk in the room, if you're looking to um, have a watch that really makes a statement and get you noticed, this watch is right in your wheelhouse. Um, this is a, a 18 karat gold plated watch that looks for all the world like it's made out of solid gold. It is uh, dripping in gold throughout the case and the bracelet. Um, it's got a sapphire crystal on it. It is an automatic. Uh, driven by an S-Tech uh, automatic uh, three-hand movement, which is nice and smooth. We'll show you later in the video the uh, movement running up close. Uh, it is a hackable movement, so the, for those of you who are really into your uh, automatic movements, you can pull the crown on this and stop it, set it to an exact second. 100 meters of uh, water resistance, dual push-button uh, push deployment clasp. Um, it's a, it's a very substantial bracelet, as you'll see here. It's 27 millimeters in width, which is considerably wider than your average bracelet uh, for a, a steel watch. It is, um, comes with eight and three quarter inches worth of uh, links, so it'll fit uh, wrist sizes up to eight and three quarter inches, and uh, for most people, that'll mean that you'll be taking you know, some links out of it to get it to properly fit your wrist. I wanted to mention that for those customers who really enjoy having something unique on their wrist, a watch that they're unlikely in their life to ever see another human being wearing, this watch would certainly fit the bill. Um, this is a limited edition piece, which is not that unusual in the watch industry, but to have a limited edition done with only 32 pieces built for the world certainly is unusual. Um, we've sold limited edition watches that have uh, limited edition runs of 5,000. 32 is a very different number. So you'll have your individual limited edition um, number that's inscribed on the case back right outside the exhibition case back window where you can see the operations of the uh, movement in action. The uh, format for the case is 48 millimeters in either direction, height and uh, length. And uh, it's a pretty substantially large watch. However, it uses these extensions that you'll see um, that actually protrude from the case, and that's really a signature element of Exoskeleton's designs. They call it their O-ring um, design, and it really um, extends the overall size of the case beyond what's you know, physically underneath. For example, on all the Exoskeletons we've seen so far, the crown is underslung underneath the overhang of uh, what they call their O-ring. So uh, kind of an interesting, very different design that makes it look a little bit larger than the supporting case underneath. And what's also interesting about that is that for some very large watches in the marketplace that um, don't have that type of a small format design underneath, they actually overhang the wrist. They, the lug-to-lug -lug distance on them is really long, and it may not fit a small wrist properly. With the exoskeleton design, you get the large format look from on top, but you have a smaller format underneath where it's laying on the wrist, and it actually allows for a, uh, an easier fit for most people with an average size wrist. The luminosity on this watch is very strong. Uh, as you'll see as we go from our normal daylight shot and fade it down to a complete darkness, um, you'll see that the hours 
and uh, minutes, minute hand and second hand all have a, a glowing area that will line up against the uh, hour markers. Uh, well done by uh, Exoskeleton. So those are some of our thoughts on this Exoskeleton Intercontinental Voyager. Thanks for spending some of your time with us here watching this video. If you like this video, um, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You can also follow us on Instagram at Time Visions or on Facebook under Time Visions Watches. Thanks everyone.